This is episode 3 of 30. On today's agenda, Nicodemus comes to Jesus by night. The work of John the Baptist. Jesus and the woman at the well. Jesus returns to Cana. Jesus heals the nobleman's son. He gets thrown out of his hometown. Jesus leaves Nazareth. And Jesus' miracle catch of fish, the first one. Jesus teaches in a synagogue at Capernaum. John 3, 1 and onwards. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know you are a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that you do except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Truly, truly, I say unto you, Except a man be born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say unto you, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto you, you must be born from above. The wind blows wherever it wants to go, and you hear the sound thereof, but you cannot tell where it comes from and where it's going. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, Are you a master of Israel and you don't know these things? Truly, truly, I say unto you, We speak that which we know about. We testify about things we've seen, and you receive not our witness. If I have told you of earthly things and you don't believe, how shall you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? And no man has ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him should not perish, but rather have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that refuses to believe in him is already condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, but men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. Every one that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that does truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. John 3.22 After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he stayed with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Enon near Salem, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that is with you beyond Jordan, to whom you bore witness, behold, the same baptizes, and all men come to Jesus. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. You yourselves bear witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him, 
rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. In this my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. He that comes from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly, and speaks of the earth. He that comes from heaven is above all. What he has seen and heard he testifies, and no man receives his testimony. He that has received his testimony is set to a seal that God is true. For whom God has sent, he is the one who speaks the words of God. For God gives not the Spirit by measure unto him. The Father loves the Son, and has given all things into his hand. He that believes on the Son has everlasting life, and he that doesn't believe the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God is what awaits him. John 4, 1 and onwards. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus had made and baptized more disciples than John, even though Jesus himself did not baptize but his disciples, he left Judea and departed again into Galilee, and he needed to go through Samaria. Luke three nineteen and 20. But Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod had done, added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison. After these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea. Now when Jesus had heard that John was cast into prison, he departed into Galilee. Then he came to the city of Samaria, which is called Sychar, near to the parcel of ground, Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied with his journey, sat thus on the well. It was about the sixth hour, about noon. A woman of Samaria came there to draw water, and Jesus said unto her, Will you give me a drink? For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. And then the woman of Samaria said unto him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with us Samaritans. Jesus answered and said unto her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is that said unto you, Will you give me a drink? You would have asked of him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence, then, would you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, which gave us this well, and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whoever drinks of this water shall thirst again, but whoever drinks the water that I will give him shall never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. The woman said unto him, Sir, give me this water, that I thirst not, and neither come here to draw. Jesus said unto her, Go call your husband and come back. The woman said, I have no husband. Jesus said unto her, You have well said, I have no husband, for you have had five husbands, and he whom you now have is not your husband. In that you spoke truthfully. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worship in this mountain, and you say Jerusalem is the place men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour comes when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. But the hour comes, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship him. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah comes, which is called Christ. 
When he is come, he will teach us all things. Jesus said unto her, I that speak unto you am he. And upon this came his disciples, and marveled that he talked with the woman. Yet no man said, What do you seek, or why do you talk to her? The woman then left her water pot, and went her way into the city, and said to the men, Come see a man which told me everything I've ever done. Isn't this the Christ? Then they ran out of the city and came to Jesus. In the meantime, while his disciples prayed with him, they asked him, Master, eat something. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that you know not of. Therefore his disciples said one to another, Has anybody brought him anything to eat? Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, and to finish his work. Don't you say, There are yet four months, and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say unto you, Lift up your eyes, and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reaps receives wages, and gathers fruit unto life eternal that both he that sows and he that reaps may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that whereon you bestowed no labor. Other men labored, and you are entered into their labors. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman, which testified, He told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would stay there with them in Samaria. And he abode there for two days. And many more believed because of his own words. And said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of your saying, for we have heard him ourselves, and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. So after the two days he departed and went into Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his own country. Then, when he was come into Galilee, the Galileans received him, having seen all the things that he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they also went there to the feast. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him throughout the entire region. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. So Jesus came again into Cana of Galilee, where he had made the water wine. And there was a certain nobleman whose son was sick at Capernaum. And when he heard that Jesus was coming out of Judea into Galilee, he went unto him and asked him to come down and heal his son, for he was at the point of death. Then Jesus said unto him, Except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. But the nobleman answered, Sir, come down, or my child will die. Jesus said, Go your way, your son lives. And the man believed the word that Jesus had just said, and he went back home. And as he was now going down, his servants met him and told him, saying, Your son's alive. Then he inquired of them the hour when he began to amend. And they said unto him, Yesterday at the seventh hour, the fever left him. So the father knew that it was at that very same hour in which Jesus said unto him, Your son lives. And he believed in his whole house with him. This is again the second miracle which Jesus did when he was come out of Judea into Galilee. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he read from the place where it was written, quote, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 
Then he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were glued on Jesus. And he began by saying unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bore him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Wait a minute, isn't this the son of Joseph? And he said unto them, You will surely say to me this proverb, Physician, heal yourself. Whatsoever you have heard done in Capernaum, do hear also in your own country. And he said, Truly I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, that many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel at the time of Eliseus the prophet, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. And they in the synagogue, all of them, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath, and they rose up and pushed him out of the city, leading down the brow of the hill whereon their city was built, that they might cast him down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. And leaving Nazareth, he came down and dwelt in Capernaum, which is on the sea coast, in the borders of Zebulun and Naphtali, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of Isaiah the prophet, the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea beyond Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles, the people which sat in darkness saw a great light, and to them which sat in the region and shadow of death, light is sprung up. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two ships standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the ships, which was Simon's, and asked him if he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Now when he had finished speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a draft. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night. We're tired. We've taken nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will do it. When they had it done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their nets broke. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both ships with fish, so much so that they both began to sink. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished and all that were with him at the draft of the fishes which they had taken. And so also was James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from now on you will be catching men. And when they had brought their ships to land, they forsook all of that fishing equipment and followed him. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority, and not as the scribes. And there was one in their midst with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What do we have to do with you, you Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him and said, Hold your peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him, he cried with a loud voice and came out of him. And they were all amazed, insomuch that they questioned among themselves, saying, what thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority he commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. And immediately his fame spread abroad throughout the entire region round about Galilee. 
when they were come out of the synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife's mother lay sick of a fever, and by and by they tell him about her. And he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up, and immediately the fever left her, and she ministered unto them. And at evening, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all that were diseased and them that were possessed of devils. The entire city was gathered around the house at the door, and he healed many that were sick of different kinds of diseases, and cast out many devils not suffering the devils to speak, because they knew who he was. And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there he prayed. And Simon and they that were with him followed after Jesus, and when they finally found him, they said unto him, All men seek for you. And he said unto them, Let's go to the next towns, so that we can preach there as well, for that is why I have come. And he preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee, and cast out devils. And there came a leper unto him, asking and kneeling down, and saying unto him, If you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and said, I will be clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed. And straightly he charged him, and forthwith sent him away, and said unto him, See that you say nothing to any man, but go your way, and show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. But instead he went out and began to publish it much and blaze abroad the matter, insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter into the city, but rather was without in desert places, and they came to him from every quarter.